My name is Cassandra. That's my daughter, Issa. She's come grocery shopping with me today. We are about to head into Costco on a very chilly Saturday morning at the beginning of February. We're going to see what Costco has put out new for February. We're going to try to get all of the things on our list. Anything we can't find here, we'll probably head over to Walmart um, to find it there. We are home this week on February break from school. We have a winter break. And so we're going to need some lunch items that we don't typically have around the house because typically the girls would just pack their lunch and take it to school and I would take dinner leftovers. And we'll probably need some extra snackage as well. So let's head into Costco and see what we can find. Ah, look for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Italian four cheese heart shaped ravioli. Is that cute or what? Okay, we have just finished at Costco and I will say there was a giant hole on the water aisle where there was absolutely zero packs of Kirkland bottled water. The only regular bottled water you could get I think was Smart Water, which of course is way more expensive. And then there were some flavored waters like Hint and some other ones. Now there was plenty of canned waters, but in terms of just your standard bottled water, big old gaping hole. That was the only thing I noticed that was pretty much gone from the shelves. And now I am going to head to Walmart to get a few things that we couldn't find, including bottled water. Since we're going out of town for a couple of days, we'll take a case of water with us to the hotel room. I also wanna get some body wash, shampoo and conditioner, these very specific giant round breakfast sausage patties that we enjoyed last week. Um, I went to Walmart last weekend, which was a, a rare thing. I tried to avoid Walmart like the plague, but now, man, those breakfast sausage patties are delicious. So I think I'm gonna run in there for these other things too. I need to get coffee creamer. Costco doesn't have sugar-free coffee creamer and that's what I want. I also couldn't find decaf coffee pods, so I didn't get coffee at Costco. Of course, I've never seen diet root beer there and that's just my soda of choice. So I'm gonna pick that up along with some flossers and that will probably be it at Walmart. I only noticed a couple of really cool Valentine's things in Costco today. Um, some heart-shaped ravioli and maybe some um, pink yogurt covered pretzels. I thought there would be more Valentine's like items and it's only, it's February 5th on the day I'm filming this, but if there were more, they're sold out already. So let's head to Walmart. Okay, we're gonna kick it off with the items that I got at Costco. So I don't know about you ladies, but I go through probably at least four cotton rounds a day, sometimes more, because there's one for each eye when I remove my eye makeup, uh, there's one for toner, you, you just never know with me. So I always buy these um, two tubes at a time, usually from my grocery store, but at Costco today, they had a nine pack of these cotton rounds and so that should last me a while. So I was happy to see that. And then I got another box of this 12 pack of the microwavable macaroni and cheese cups from Kraft. The first time we got these was my last trip to Costco a couple of weeks ago. And we have, I don't know, maybe three or four of the little cups left, but the girls really liked these. I was actually surprised that they liked the microwavable version, but they really did. I am slowly but surely I'm changing over all the light bulbs in the house as they go out from the yellowish toned light to this cooler, bluer daylight light bulbs. Most of the downstairs has been changed over now. It's really the upstairs that still looks pretty yellow and dim. Um, and so I got a pack of the bulbs there. I got this giant box of flushable wipes. It says there's 632 wipes total i'm trying to see okay there are 10 solo packs and two travel packs in this box uh, my daughter isa has recently been into barbecue pringles and we didn't see barbecue but we saw these and she thought she would like them and they are in the um, individual packs so that we don't have to take the tube and put them into baggies for her lunch kit so we're going to give these a go Typically I'll buy the eggs two dozen at a time because this five dozen um, stack here takes up so much space in the refrigerator, but we are literally flat out of eggs. We've been eating a lot of eggs recently, and so I decided to go ahead and take advantage of the five dozen pack from Costco. I got um, this large set of raspberries. I love to eat raspberries and blackberries with cottage cheese. I got this big tub of baby spinach. 
This is good for salads, of course, but I like to saute this up in eggs and occasionally I'll make um, creamed spinach. I got this bag of green beans for some roasted green beans. Um, I got another giant bag of this Mexican style blend cheese that's shredded. This comes in this two pack. It seems like a ton, but we, I guess, are cheese lovers because we always manage to go through it before it goes bad. So here we are again. Okay, my, one of my favorite white wines is a Moscato di Asti, so I prefer sparkling white wines just in general. I would say overall Moscato di Asti is my second favorite. What is, I think is there's one that's slightly less sweet. Maybe it's called Subanto di Asti. I, I can't remember for sure. It's my actual favorite. Now I've never had this Santo brand before. Um, but I decided to give it a try. It was a couple of dollars cheaper per bottle than the brand that I usually get. And so I got these for Valentine's Day. Um, the last time I was at Costco, I got this giant tub of cottage cheese. I was worried that we wouldn't get through it in time, but we did. And I am on a cottage cheese and berry snack kick. So I got another one of those. My husband really likes to take these apple cider vinegar um, tabs. Um, and so I picked him up another bottle of those because he was running low. We were completely and totally out of olive oil here. Um, so I got this 100% Italian extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil from Costco um, to sit right here on the counter next to the stove. Mission Carb Balance Flour Tortillas. These are the girls' favorite, and it seems like every time I go to Costco, I buy this pack, which has um, 16 tortillas in it, and I never even have to freeze them. That's how fast we go through them. I believe we go through more tortillas than bread. Okay, I have never had the Kirkland fabric softener, um, but I am a fan of, which one is it? Downy? As long as it's not that one with the bear. Snuggle, ugh, it smells so horrible. But the other ones in general I like. Um, and so I was going to get, I think it was Downy, and then I saw this one next to it in the, about the same size and the same similar scent for like $4 less. So I decided to try the Kirkland brand. Um, last time I was at Costco, I got my daughter Issa these pajamas, and they are super soft and comfortable. Um, and so this time I went ahead and got Evie a pair, and now Evie and Issa can match. And then I also, in the same brand last time, got the Mickey Mouse pajamas for myself. And again, they are just the best in terms of softness, and they stretch, and they're awesome. So I got myself, this was the only print they had in my size, so I probably wouldn't have picked this print in general, but it was the only one left, and so for the comfort, I don't care what it looks like. Okay, over here on this side, we've got our favorite wings. These are the best in the air fryer. We don't actually use the sauce in there, but the wings are awesome. Last week, I bought some wings from Aldi, and my mistake, I didn't pay attention, and there was wheat in there, so I couldn't eat them anyways, and so now my husband has to eat the entire bag of those wings. But these ones... These ones do not contain wheat, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure I've checked several times before. Okay, I got another pack of the Kirkland bacon. I say a pack. I think it's a four pack wrapped into one bundle. This is our favorite marinated skirt steak that we do on the grill and use for beef fajitas. Um, and we've only, we have not been, well, for a few weeks I didn't have any beef. And then we've kind of switched to now beef about one night per week. But because... I hadn't been buying it. We were totally out of beef, so I got these um, beef fajita meats and um, these five individual one-pound packages of lean ground beef just so we'll have some on hand because we don't have any. We've been eating the Amy Lou kale and mozzarella patties. Actually, we just had those for lunch. Um, and I saw these caramelized onion and aged white cheddar charbroiled chicken burgers. I've never had this flavor before, but I like the other ones, so I figure these are probably pretty good too and I'm really trying to learn to like chicken more than I actually do. Um, I am literally running out of dishwashing detergent but I do have one uh, Dawn power wash sprayer under my kitchen sink and I just hadn't bought a refill for it so I bought these refills and so now I'll have a second sprayer and three bottles of power wash ready to go. And then down here I'm pretty sure that I am going to like 
the black raspberry flavor of this sparkling water and probably the orange mango. The one that I'm not sure that I'm going to like is this kiwi strawberry, but I think my husband will like it. So just for variety, I found um, that these days, pretty much the only soda that I like is diet root beer. I don't even really like Coke Zero anymore. And maybe that's just because I've been, I don't know, drinking less and less soda and my taste buds are changing. I don't know. So I got this Coke Zero. It's really primarily for my husband because like I said, I won't even get through a can if I try. I got this pack of Aquafina to take with us. We're doing a little road trip and we'll be in a hotel for a couple of days soon. And we like to pack water whenever we go on a road trip. And then I got this um, big thing of bath tissue. Again, I pretty much, every time I go to Costco, I just buy one whether we're out or not just to make sure we keep it in stock. Um, today when I was at Costco, let me turn you around. Today when I was at Costco, there was plenty of toilet paper if you like the blue label, which is the soft and absorbent. We prefer the red label, which is strong and something or other. Um, but that has been out now for a couple of weeks at this Costco. Or I was at Costco today and I was there a couple of weeks ago. And the red has been out. The blue has been in stock though. So that's what I got. Um, the only thing that I noticed, I think I mentioned it earlier, that was just completely and totally out of stock today at Costco was their water. There was absolutely no Kirkland bottled water. And I noticed that at Walmart, when I went in there, they were still out of French fries, which I think it was last weekend I was in Walmart and I could only find one type of frozen French fry. And still that was the case today also. So I don't know if it's a shipping issue or what it is, something related to the Rona, I don't know. But so the no water, no French fries. Okay, and then I got a few items from Walmart that we couldn't find at Costco or we just didn't prefer the brands at Costco. So the girls don't use anything particularly fancy in their shower, um, but they needed um, a backup body wash, shampoo and conditioner so that when theirs runs out, they'll have one in their uh, bathroom, I don't know, closet, what is it called? Where you put products in your bathroom so that they'll have a backup. Um, I got these waste basket liners. Usually we get the four gallon ones. Oh, will it focus? Here we go. I got these um, medium sized trash bags. These are the eight gallon ones, which we have a can in our bedroom that this would fit, but we also just use these in the small bathroom trash cans as well. So we put liners in all of our trash cans, no matter their size. I know not everyone um, does that, or you know, you can always use Walmart bags, but in case we're out, we always have these. Um, I am trying to commit to taking a monthly family photo um, because, you know, I just, for years and years, my husband and I preferred not to be in photos, and so we had lots of pictures of the children, but only a rare one with us in the picture with our children. So we're committing kind of to monthly family photos just for fun. And so tonight we're all going to go out to dinner for my nephew's birthday, so we decided that we're going to try to theme things out and dress like it's for Valentine's Day and take our monthly family pictures. So um, the girls got these um, red shirts with a pocket and hearts on them. So they are going to match. There's one for each girl. And then speaking of that, my daughter Evie really likes Lucky Charms. And so just thinking ahead to March, and we'll probably do some sort of goofy, you know, green St. Patrick's Day family picture. So I went ahead and picked her up this shirt. It was only, it was less than $7. And right, my daughter Issa, has two piercings in her ears, and so to go with her Valentine's shirt, she wanted these earrings. Ah, the keys flipped around. So in particular, she wants to wear, because she has two holes, a key, a dangly key in the first hole, and a dangly lock in the second hole. So these are her February earrings. Hopefully, these will be okay. They're really inexpensive, and so I'm worried they'll hurt her ears. She's only ever had, like, sterling silver in her ears, so we'll see how that goes. I got this tube of Carmex, the classic lip balm. I'm just one of those people. I have lip balms in my nightstand. I have lip balms in my purse. I have lip balms in my desk at work. And it's not that my lips are dry because I don't drink water or fluids because I drink a lot compared to most people I feel like, but my lips are just always dry. Not necessarily chapped, but dry. Um, someone told me it could just be because of all the stuff that I put on them, but... Uh, in any case, I'm going to try uh, Carmex. I haven't tried Carmex in a while. I got these placards. These, this is the type of floss that I prefer to use. 
Again, this is for one of the girls, some deodorant, and then I have been drinking less caffeine, almost no caffeine, um, but a little here and there, and so I got these decaf um, K-cups for the Keurig. Okay, on this side, last week, I think it was, we discovered these pork sausage patties. They're large and round, kind of like the ones that you would get on a Sonic toaster sandwich, and my daughter Evie and I really, really like these. So I got two bags just because I don't go into Walmart that often so that we won't run out anytime soon because we really, really like them. And then I also picked up the Zero Sugar French Vanilla Creamer while I was in Walmart because I can't get that at Costco. Um, last week at Aldi, we got their brand of cinnamon French toast sticks and Evie loved them so much. She ate them every day for breakfast before school. So this time I got the Great Value brand while I was at Walmart. And then here is my preferred soda of choice. Um, I like the H-E-B brand, but I also like the A&W brand also, but the Zero Sugar Root Beer, mm, so good. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribing is absolutely free. Just hit the subscribe button and my videos will get suggested to you in your YouTube video feed along with any other channel that you're subscribed to whenever I post a new video. If you want to be one of the first people to know when I've posted a new video, you can ring that little bell and you'll get a push notification on your phone each time I upload a video. I typically upload on Sundays and so I hope that you'll join me again next week for some more mom life motivation, grocery hauls, recipes, weight loss motivation, what I eat in a day, that type of thing. I'll see you right back here next Sunday.